Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about dense rank in SQL Server. So here I will tell you how to implement a dense rank function in the SQL Server queries. First of all, let's try to understand what is the purpose of dense rank. So dense rank is the one which will help us to identify a rank of a row in an ordered manner. So if you apply a partition class in the dense rank function, so then you will be getting the rank of a row in an ordered group of rows. And it is going to give you a one unique number. So the ranks are consecutive integers beginning with one. And the largest rank value is the number of unique values written by the query. The largest value, let us say I have a 10 ranks, then the 10th number is nothing but a, the number of unique values in a particular table is 10. And the rank values are not going to skip in the event of ties. Let us say there are two people have the same number. If there is a tie happen on the top of, of those two people, then the rank number is not going to skip like a rank function. So that is the purpose of dense rank. Here I will show you how to apply a dense rank. So let me go to SQL Server Management Studio where I have a student's table. So if you see here, I have a six rows with four columns. Now I want to give a rank to the each and every student. So based on the marks, based on the marks. So here dense rank is going to accept two classes. One is the partition class, partition by class. Next one is order by class. This, this order by class is mandatory and this is optional. Partition class is optional. Partition class is optional. So you can write a, you can apply a dense rank function with only order by. Partition by is an optional class for a dense rank. So if you want to apply, a, if, if you want to generate a ranking based on the partition, then you need to go for a partition by class. If you want to generate a unique rank in the overall the table wise, then you can go with only order by class. Now let me take you the, so first scenario, I will apply only order by class and the dense rank. So here if you see, so these are all the students I have and these are all the ranks, these are all the marks. So now I need to generate a rank for this. See, I want to generate a rank based on the marks. Whoever got the highest marks, I want to give a first rank. So if you see, the Kate and Chris got the 60-60. So this I'm going to take it. So this Kate got 60 marks and uh, Chris also got the 60 marks. So then I want to assign first uh, rank to this next. So the people who got the next uh, second highest marks, I want to give a second rank for them. So these two people got the same marks. So now I want to give the second rank to these people. So if you see this, Williams got the 40 marks, so he might be getting second rank and Gary got the 40 marks, you will be also getting second rank. So if you see this, now if you see the, the uh, it is going to give you a rank based on the unique values. So whatever the highest, first it is going to identify the highest, then the highest unique mark is going to get the first rank. The second highest unique mark is going to get the second rank. So then obviously yes, third highest uh, marks will be getting the third rank. Tim is having 35 marks. So then obviously yes, he will be getting third rank. Like this. So then next one is uh, 34 John. So John is the one who got 34 marks. His rank is 4. It means that so dense rank is going to identify the unique values. So based on the unique value, it gives the ranks but if you compare with a rank function so it is going to give you one one in the same way but it is going to skip the particular rank for the second highest marks it is going to start from three three then this is five six so how many rows are there in a table that many ranks you will get at the end but here in the dense rank you won't get that many ranks it is going to identify based on the unique value unique value on the marks so here how many unique values are there in my table four unique values are there that is the reason why I got the four ranks. So this is what happens when you apply order by class only, only order by class. Now let me create a, let me apply a dense rank with a 
order by and partition okay partition by so it means that so the ranks have been uh, ranks is means my dense rank is going to allot the ranks based on the partition and order by first it is going to apply a partition then it is going to give you the rank so here if you see the data here i have a i am planning to apply partition on the gender column so here i have a two genders male and female so the partition will be happening female partition and male partition when i apply a dense rank on the partition so then the first two females are going to come with one and two then other next four males are getting one two three four because all the other male values are having unique values means now let me copy this so if you see this the first female partition is happening now here so this is the female partition so ideally let me make it this is the first row as i am keeping as a descending order yeah this is the first row so this is the second rank now let me go to the all other rows so these are all the rows so second partition is a female but let me make it as a in an orderly manner so that is very easy for us to understand so next one is 34 marks let me make it as this and let me keep here in the down so now the ranking if you see this is one this is two this is three this is four so this is how my dense rank is going to allot the ranks to the data here i have only six seven rows so i can easily give the uh, ranks to each and every row manually but when i have a hundreds of thousands of rows i cannot give manually so that time i need to go for a automated function so now let me show you how to write a dense function dense rank function on the table so first let me apply this scenario only order by class only order by class now let me write it select uh, from students okay here i'll be writing the column names id student comma student name comma marks comma gender gender comma here i'll be writing dense underscore rank and it is a function if it is a function it's nothing but you need to close open and close with parenthesis over here i will not be applying in the first scenario partition by i'll be applying only order by order by marks psc okay so here i'll be making as a rank rank or i can get the only single rank okay now let me run this query if i run this query so let me make it a spelling wrong yeah, marks and now let me run this query if you see this so you will be getting the ranks so first 60 marks will be getting 1 1 Next, second 40 marks will be getting 2 2 the third for 35 marks 4 34 marks means there is no skip phase of ranks here my dense rank is going to identify the means it is going to identify the rank based on the unique values this is how my uh, dense rank is going to work when i apply only order by class now let me apply partition as well on the top of my top of my students uh, table students table here let me write the same way id student comma student name comma marks comma gender so comma dense rank let me apply a dense rank function dense rank over of partition by partition by uh, gender order by marks descending order so here i'll be putting as a rank for this now let me run this query if you say this the rank is been provided based on the partitions first let like, supplies a partition then it will go for a ranking now if i run execute it you see the rank is been provided with uh, this one so based on the partition the first females got one and two rank so there is no tie happened in the partition when you apply a partition so then there is no need of repeating the same rank to the multiple people now the second partition is male so the even the second part in the male partition everybody have a unique values that is the reason why they got one two three four ranks still if you see any ties happen then it is going to rank is going to repeat and the next rank immediately starts with the next number it is a consecutive number so there is no skip is happening on the top of the uh, ranks when you apply a dense rank but when you apply a rank it is going to skip 
it is going to skip let me show you the rank function as well quickly so let me apply a rank here if you see the results yeah so there is a first uh, rank will get the two people and there is a skip happened the second rank is skipped then the next two people got the third rank and the fourth rank is skipped then five and six got it so in the similar way if you see the partition class the partition class is even common even here also because there is no tie happened in the partition scenario so then you will be getting the same ranks there will be no change when you apply partition in this example but when you go to the real example the same way when you apply a rank the skip is going to happen but when you apply a dense rank there is no skip happens so that is the difference between rank and a dense rank functions in the sql server this is the one of the important uh, uh, function in the sql server we might be using very repeatedly in the real time practices in the real time scenarios thank you thank you for watching that's it